Remember those rate cuts that everybody said that the Fed was gonna do? Well, <laughs> wake up. If you didn't hear the news, inflation is through the roof. Who would have ever guessed that? I mean, you go to the grocery store and everything is still expensive. So it's not a surprise that interest rates don't look like they're going down anytime soon. But we're gonna talk about that, guys. My name is Orlando, welcome to the channel, guys. Make sure you hit that like and subscribe button. It really does help out the channel. Make sure you check in the pinned comment and in the description, I have a newsletter. Yes, a newsletter that will give you tremendous value, guys. And how can you beat it? It's free. And if you sign up today, guys, if you sign up today, you will get a step-by-step -step guide on how to claim your NAR settlement payment, guys. You can't be free. It's as easy as that. Consumer prices rose 3.5% from a year ago in March, more than expected. Mm, mm, mm. Well, I expected it to go up. <laughs> But that's beyond the point here. The point is, is that inflation is continuing, continuing to go up and up and up. It's no surprise with everybody saying there's going to be 15, 8, 9 rate cuts from the Fed. And all of a sudden, the Fed is thinking, scratching his head and thinking... Am I gonna have to raise rates again? This is the third time in a row that we've got this hotter than expected inflation numbers. And it's going to continue to go up, guys. I don't know why everyone thinks that everything is gonna go back to pre-pandemic era. We're gonna get to two, three, four percent interest rates. Those days are gone. If they come back, Great, but for you to expect that you're gonna get a 2% interest rate or a 3% interest rate, you're crazy. <laughs> it's not happening, guys. That's never gonna happen, ever, 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 place. ever, ever. What we care about, and again, what we care about, and I hope you understand what I'm saying, we care about the prices of the homes. The interest rate stuff is it's just icing on the cake. Everything else, we care about prices, going down, not interest rates, guys. Because if that's the case, I have a million dollar car, I will sell to you. You just gotta pay it back in a hundred years. <laughs> that, that's all I'm saying. You, you can get your $300 a month, all you have to do is just pay for the rest of your life. That's exactly where we don't want to be. We care about the price of the home. The other day, I wasted hours trying to cancel a gym membership, and I can promise you, it was not fun. <laughs> well, today's sponsor, Rocket Money, is here to help. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that helps you cancel your subscription, lower your bills, and manage your money better. I'm using Rocket Money to cancel unwanted subscriptions, and you can see it safely and securely identifies reoccurring charges and cancels unwanted subscriptions for you. You can even cancel from within the app with just a couple a tap, no need to worry about customer service calls. And with subscriptions everywhere, I know you have a bunch of subscriptions that you don't even know that you haven't even canceled, guys. And Rocket Money will do the work for you. Rocket Money has saved its customers up to $740 a year and over 500 million in canceled subscriptions. To save more and spend less, join over 5 million members using Rocket Money today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Orlando Miner or click the link in the description to get started for free. You can also unlock even more more features with premium. That's rocketmoney.com slash Orlando Miner to get started for free. Consumer price index accelerated at a faster than expected pace in March, pushing inflation rates and likely dashing hopes that the Federal Reserve will be able to cut interest rates anytime soon. I tried to let you guys know. <laughs> <laughs> that I didn't see that the Fed was going to cut rates anytime soon because we have to get down to 2%. And it's magically not going to get to 2%. That's what blows my mind. Do you guys think that years and years and years, 10 plus years of 2 3% interest rates, everything going up sky high, everything doubling, tripling, that just magically if you take your hands off the steering wheel and you keep your foot on the gas pedal, you think that the car just gonna magically slow down? Do you really think that? <laughs> it's not happening. The car is gonna still be going in the same direction. Only way for that car to stop is if we hit a wall. You have to hit something. The tires gotta go out, the car's gotta, exp something's gotta happen. And that's my point. Something is going to have to happen in the economy to make everything come back and retract. And Unemployment is going up, prices are going up, cars are going up, home services are going up. Everything is high, 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 high. And I keep saying this, guys. 
all you have to do is read in between the lines. You don't think Wendy's is trying to do dynamic pricing on hamburgers. That's right, dynamic pricing on hamburgers. You don't think they're doing that just because, just because, right? They're doing that because they're hurting when it comes to the bottom line. They're trying to figure out a way to increase prices. Don't get me wrong, the corporation wants to make money. That's not what I'm saying. I'm saying that you don't think that they're coming up with these new ways of trying to extract money from your wallet, from your purse. You don't think they're doing it for no reason because they see the writing on the wall. They see the writing on the wall, guys. And I need you to see the writing on the wall. The writing on the wall is saying the economy isn't doing good. I know you see CNN and everybody else telling you it's doing great, but it's not. The CPI, a broad measure of goods and services costs across the economy rose 0.4% for the month, putting the 12 month inflation rate at 3.5% or 0.3% point higher than in February. Excluding volatile food and energy components, core CPI also accelerate 0.4% on a monthly basis while rising 3.8% from a year ago compared with respective estimates of 0.3% and 3.7%. Guys, listen, <laughs> it's gonna continue to go up. This shouldn't be a surprise. This is three times in a row we've got the hotter than expected. Hotter than expected, inflation is going up. And remember, remember when I said this, I said getting from eight to five is good, but five to two? That's what's gonna be the real challenge. And as we see, I said this easily a year ago. I said it was gonna be tough to get to this 2%. And look, I wouldn't put it past the Fed if he comes back and says, okay guys, listen, <laughs> we just tried to get to four. <laughs> we're already there, we're already there. Forget the two, I know I said two. I don't see how we're gonna get to two. And do this quote unquote soft landing. It's this chart that we always look at where you can see it going up, down, up, down, up, down. And then you can see at the very end here, it got to 3.8%. The two differences that we see here are all items and then the one without food and energy, which, which we do know that the government, you know, subsidizes and brings things in. We saw that happen with gas prices and whatnot, how they started using our own reserves versus getting it from overseas and whatnot. Same thing happens with food. They're just trying to do anything and everything to try to hamper the cost. But here's the thing. We've just had 10 plus years of the gravy train. Low interest rate, low cost food, low, low cost everything. Everything has been low cost, right? We just have. Then we had the pandemic happen. Money was just, just thrown out and we're gonna have to pay the price for that. We are going to have to pay the price for that. That's just the truth. And everybody is trying to tell you that there's gonna be some soft landing. Don't worry, everything is gonna be all right. But that's just not how cycles work. We know this, we know this. I know some of you guys are putting on the blinders, but we know that cycles don't work with this. When have you ever seen a cycle go from great to good? That's the cycle, great, good, great, good, great, good. It doesn't work that way. <laughs> it just doesn't work that way. And I know I'm gonna have some haters and some people in the comment section say, Orlando, I don't know what you're talking about because I see the economy continuing to go up. It's never gonna go down. Nothing's gonna happen. And I would just say, how are we supposed to get inflation to come down when a bulk, a lot, when 75% has to do with shelter costs? Shelter costs. That means anything home services, rent, buying a house, all of those things. So if housing doesn't come down, if rent doesn't come down, if all of those things doesn't come down, then why would inflation go down? Just explain it to me. Let's make that make sense. Let me say it one more time. If 75% of our inflation woes have to do with shelter cost, then how will inflation go down if shelter costs continue to go up? Make it make sense to me. <laughs> So everything is gonna continue to go up. I still believe that. I still believe that the economy isn't gonna have a soft landing. Things are just not gonna end the way that we want them to end, guys. There's gonna be unemployment and the economy is gonna go through a cycle and do its downturn. So at the end of the day, guys, at the end of the day, what does this mean? That means that the rate cuts that everybody said was gonna happen, people were calling for four rate cuts, eight rate cuts this year, and it's not gonna happen, it's just not. But is the Fed gonna tell you he's not gonna raise rates? Is he gonna tell you he's not gonna cut rates? No, he won't. He's gonna sit on the fence. He's gonna tell you, well, we're gonna have to see what the data, the data says. <laughs>
<laughs> That's what he's going to tell you, even though he sees the data. Even though he knows where, he's just not going to say anything. He's just going to sit on the fence like he always does. But I'm here to tell you guys, I'm here to tell you, rates are not going down. Get ready for longer for higher. So I hope you got value out of this content, but we know that you won't get all of your information off of this one video. I need you to watch this video right here. Yes, this one right here. It will give you information on the housing market, financial news, and get you into your first rental property. And I promise you the information you get from those videos, it will be gold. See you in the next one. Thanks.